Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode 160. 60, yes, 160 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Saranova Crafts on Instagram. Um, I'll probably do show notes because I'm going to uh, mention a few vendors today. Um, as you notice, the background's a little funky. I'm trying something different. I'm actually trying like a green screen type thing, but I don't have an actual green screen. Um, I've rigged up a piece of green felt behind, like a giant piece of like green felt behind me. Um, we'll see how it works when I upload. Um, if it actually looks like okay, I might actually invest in like an actual green screen because I feel like this looks better than like my living room with the cats running around or whatever. Um, I had to put a hat on because for some reason the chroma key wasn't working with my hair. So I put a hat on. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking down and to your left um, because that's where the screen is where I can see the video. But um, yeah, so... I just moved it a little bit, so I'm not looking quite as crazy at the camera. Um, but anyways, uh, yes, I have a funky background. I'm using a chroma key, and um, we'll see how it goes. I also have a little bit of funky lighting, so if I look a little odd, I'm sorry. I'm trying something new. I'm experimenting. Um, I like the look of a clean background more, and the background of my podcast has just been, um, you know, my house for so long. And I'm like, oh, let me try something different. And I had the felt because I was going to do something completely unrelated with it. I'm actually going to make a stuffed animal with it. Um, but it's a little too neon-y green, I decided. I ordered it online. And it's like, a, I got like a couple of yards of it. I ordered it on like, I, f I forget where I ordered it from. It was not like Amazon or anything like that. But when it came, it was more neon than I thought it was. So it's, yeah, it's not great. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to talk about New Hampshire Sheep and Wool because that was this past weekend. Um, I haven't been working on too much knitting. I've been really bad, actually. I haven't knit a lot. Um, I have been working on the second version of, I'm just pulling some stuff out here, of the, um, of the, the Spitfire for 100 Ravens. Um, I meant to finish this for New Hampshire Sheep and Wool, and then I got sick. Um, in between the last time I recorded, which was February, I think. And no, which was April and now, because it's May. Um, in between then and now, um, I've had an ER visit and a really bad cold. So the ER visit was just some abdominal pain. It cleared up. No issues. No worries. I'm not going to end up in the hospital. I don't have to have surgery. Like, don't. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so let's see what the chroma key does to this. Ooh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Because there's green in the in the project. Oh my goodness. Oh look, I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Um so yeah, the uh so that doesn't work. <laughs> um, but I am working on the Spitfire. So maybe I need to actual chroma key it or something, or get a just a backdrop or something to hang behind me while I record. I'm actually up at my desk for once, which I haven't been up at, at ages, which is why the light, lighting is kind of funky because it's in a corner and I have reflected light off walls and stuff and it's odd. I'm trying something new. Forgive me if the quality sucks. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm using my webcam. So like there's that too. I also apologize if I seem a little congested. Um, I'm still getting over the cold. So anyways, New Hampshire Sheep and Wool. I saw a, friend, I saw a whole bunch of friends. I saw Jen the Uncreative Crafter, Mandy Pinecone, um... Mike, who's the gay, who does, who's the gay knitter. He did the gay knitter podcast for a while. I don't think he's actually still podcasting. I also saw Sarah, who's the Canadian knitter, and Lynn, who's the um the Wayward Skein now is her podcast. She used to be part of Two Tangled Skeins, and I am blanking on what her current podcast is actually called. I'm a horrible friend. I don't remember. Um, I'm really totally blanking. I'm pretty sure ninety nine percent it's Wayward Skein. I'm just double checking. Because I would feel bad if I said it wrong. Because, yeah. Um, Lynn, where are you in my list of people I follow? Lynn, where are you? Boop, 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 boop. Yes, she is now the Wayward Skein. But she's Lynn Toll. Um, she was part of Two Tangled Skeins. And, um, yeah, check her solo podcast out on YouTube. So anyways, um, they were all there, um, and I was working for, on the Saturday of New Hampshire Ship and Wool. I was working in the 100 Ravens booth, um, so I was in the booth all day. I do have a group picture of us that I will put in, let me lean this way, I will put in here so you can see it and look at the 
yeah, chair. Chroma key is not really working. Anyways, maybe I'll just buy a backdrop to like hang behind me because yeah. Um, or just like some nice fabric or something to hang behind me. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll figure it out. Chroma keys being weird. Um, but anyways, um, but I also saw, um, my friend Carol, who I know from my local yarn shop and my local knit group and stuff, um, she's now making bags and she goes by a single strand studio. So I got this bag from her. It's not, it's like a navy blue. So the green is kind of like, but it's, um, but it's totally like, you know, constellations and stuff. And this was part of her display. It's just got like a shiny, um, it's got like just like a shiny dotted fabric on the inside, but it's a really nice like bucket bag that fits on your arm. I'm really happy with it. Um, it was like on her like display and it was the only one in the booth. I'm like, Carol, can I buy this? She's like, yes. I'm like, can you take it off the display? I don't want to ruin your display. She's like, yeah, sure. Fine. <laughs> so, um, so I got the bag and then Mandy Pinecone, um, gave me a bag. She like made one. She made one, I think for all of us. Um, and it's this, it's unicorns and it says unicorn squad on it. Can you read, can you see that unicorn squad? Oh, the E, e the A on unicorn squad. <laughs> Hold on. My camera is being really funky. Where's my mouse so I can move this? Cause I'm recording. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you, Google. That's not working. Um, let's see. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. So this A on unicorn squad, but see, there we go. That's better. It's unicorns. Here, now you can see the fabric. See, that's better. Um, so she gave us all a bag, Unicorn Squad. She does cute stuff like that. And Mike gave me, they're going to come up as, um, yeah. See, this is green. See see that shade of green? This is, um, I believe it's a matcha Kit Kat or a green tea Kit Kat. Um, the packaging is entirely in um, Japanese, so I am not 100%. Oh, hey, there's a QR code, but I'm using my phone as a light, so I will do that later. I'm pretty sure it's either a green tea or a matcha Kit Kat. You can see the Kit Kat logo, but you can't see the green. Okay, chroma key, bad idea, but I'm too deep into it now. And then this is some mochi, which I really love mochi and green tea mochi. Um, But mochi, just like plain mochi with red bean paste in the center is my absolute favorite. Like, we go to the Asian store. The Asian market, I shouldn't say Asian store. We go to the Asian market because there's one in Nashua and then there's the big one down in Burlington, Mass. And um, I kind of go a little gaga. And like steamed buns with red bean in it. Don't ask me why I like red bean so much. I do. Um, and then um, Mandy included some minis in the, in, the, in the bag. So I got some really cute minis. I have no idea what any of this is, but um, it's really cute, whatever it is. This looks like it came out of a sock blank because it's got that kinky quality to it, you know, of like, Something that's been pulled out of a sock blank. Um, so, but it's really cute. It was really sweet of her to make us this. And she's just adorable. And I feel bad because I actually had a fever. And I was, I had a lot of day in my system. And so, like, I was not the best person to be around on Saturday. And I feel kind of bad about that. But anyways, um, for working the booth, um, I got a skein of yarn. And it's really pretty. This one's actually showing up on camera. So this is 100 Ra Ravens Paidos, which is their sock yarn. It's uh, 7525 Merino Nylon. My camera is not focusing. But it's a 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon mix. It's a four-ply. It's technically a light fingering because it's 463 yards to this gain. But it's a really nice sock yarn. And this is their colorway, Big and Bright. So originally before all of the stuff in Texas happened. And if you don't know what happened in Texas, it literally made the news. So just go Google 100 Ravens yarn theft and you'll find it because their trailer with all with everything and it got stolen, like totally stolen. So, um, and that changed my lighting because my background on my computer changed. So, but this is, this was their Texas colorway, but they brought it back as like a, a colorway for um, people to buy to like support them after the yarn theft. So here it is. It's big and bright. It's got turquoise and purples and um, it's got some white in it. And it's just, it's really pretty. I'm going to make a pair of socks with this. I'm probably planning on doing a Hermione's every day. Um, another thing I need to do, speaking of yarn and stuff, is I need to go through my stash and make sure everything's cataloged in Ravelry because I keep getting yarn and for the past like four months I like haven't cataloged any of it and I really need to because I have no idea because I have like skeins sitting here 
like I'm pretty sure I cataloged these. These are from Night Owl Fibers. Pretty sure I cataloged those. These are um, Expecto Patronum because I fell in love with that. I'm probably going to make a shawl with it. I might have cataloged this one. Headmaster's Pensive, I might not have. Her Harry Potter Club, I've been bad about cataloging. Um, and this one is Denoming the Garden. I'm pretty sure I haven't cataloged this. There's another one downstairs that I need to catalog too. I got this um, mini set from 100 Ravens. This is in the colorway Night Fury. Um, cause you know, I'm obsessed with Night Fury. Um, I haven't cataloged that. I might not have cataloged this, which is the Shire. This is again from, this is green. So, you know, this is again from Night Owl Fibers. I, I buy a lot of hers. She makes really good colors. Okay. Like seriously, go give her some love. She's, she's 21 now, but seriously, like go give her some love. She's, she deserves all the love in the world. Um, and one of my lights is fading cause the battery's dying. But anyways, um, I have too much stuff here, but like, I need to catalog yarn. I need to go through my stuff. I need to make sure I have like everything. But anyways, I did, um, besides the bag I bought, I did get some soap. I did get some handmade soap. This is goat's milk and lanolin soap in the sandal, in sandalwood. I love the smell of sandalwood. This is from West Elm Farm. They're local. They're from Pembroke, Massachusetts. And of course you can't see it because chroma key and my camera's not focusing. Of course it isn't. But um, they are westelmfarm.com, spelled exactly like you would think. Um, and, it's, and the ingredients are literally only goat's milk, olive oil, soy, coconut, cocoa butter, lanolin, and sandalwood oil. Like, that's it. And it, it smells so nice. Even with my congestion, I can smell it. It's so nice. Um, oh, and I got my annual um, New Hampshire Sheep and Wool t-shirt. So that was their logo this year. It was pretty cool. Um, I liked it. So there we go. Um, I think that's everything. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Oh, 12 and a half minutes. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Thank you for watching. Um, feel free to PM me any questions or drop them down below on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comments are all appreciated. Don't feel like you have to, but it's always nice to get a, um, to get a thing. Um, my new crafty email is sarahnovacrafts at gmail.com. So if you want to email me there, if you have any questions, just want to reach out and contact me, go for it. Um, like I said, my Twitter and my um, Ravelry are Sarah Nova and my Instagram is Sarah Nova Crafts because Sarah Nova's taken. Somebody made an account named Sarah Nova in 2011, made one post and have not touched it since. And... It's been eight years and the account is still live, right? So like, I can't get the username. And I'm like, I want Sarah Nova on Instagram so bad, but this random chick has it and she made one post. And I'm just like, right? Um, super frustrating for me, you know, but, and there we go. Um, that's my alarm saying, hey, I should like, you know, get up and do stuff. So anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. So have a good time. Bye.